In this video, we're going to create a new Beam Tool Assembly in Trade Tech Software. Select the assembly group that you want to add the new Beam Assembly to, by selecting it from the drop-down menu. Click the Beam button in the New Assembly button group located in the Template tab. Name the Beam Assembly, then click the OK button to add the new assembly to the group. Double-click on the assembly to launch its dialog. You can now add properties and sub-items to the assembly. For a standard pitched beam, select the pitch from the Pitch 1 drop-down menu. For a hip or valley beam, in addition to Pitch 1, also select the second pitch from the Pitch 2 drop-down menu. All changes made to the assembly here in the assembly group will save as default values. Click on the Beam tab to view the joist-specific information in the assembly. Type the name of the beam material in the Beam Material Value field. The name value of each generated beam item will be the beam material name followed by the length of the beam item. You can also create the beam material name by referencing other property values. Select the desired length calculation for the beams from the Length Calc drop-down menu. None will generate the joist lengths at the exact measured length, nearest foot will generate the joist lengths to the nearest even or odd feet and nearest even foot will generate the joist lengths to the nearest even feet. Select the number of plies for the beam from the plies drop-down menu. You can optionally add the beam end bearing in inches, and it will be added to both sides of the beam and then added to the actual drawn beam length. When convert short lengths are checked, all 1 foot, 2 foot, 3 foot, 4 foot and 6 foot beams will be figured out of and converted to 12 foot material. All 5-foot beams will be figured out of and converted to 10-foot material, and all 7-foot beams will be figured out of and converted to 14-foot material. Optionally enter a beam waste percentage that will be applied to the quantity totals of each beam item. The beam material selection can also be connected to a list. Click the Connect to List button, then select the appropriate list and column name containing the description of the beam items. Click OK to add the new beam assembly. To launch the new beam assembly, select it in the template side panel, then click the green button. If there is a folder in the estimating tab that you want the assembly placed in, select it from the folder drop-down menu. Draw the beams by clicking the first point at the start of the beam span, then click the second point at the end of the beam span. When beams are connected to lists, you will be prompted to choose the appropriate item from the list for each generated length one time. Add as many beam sections as needed on the drawing.